All right, here's the green machine, the FJ40. And uh, I've had this over a year, and just to share some uh, changes, modifications I've done to it. So one of the first things, first trail I went on, the Bilsteins did not last, so I changed it to the Fox 2.0, Fox Factory. Um, not that I changed some of these things, just to explain, because people ask. The axle on this is not an FJ40, that's an FJ60. Um, which is great because it's got the locking hubs so you guys with the 80 series you know that when you have the differential lock you lock the steering wheel and you should only have it locked when you're going in a straight line when you lock the hubs you have all your steering capabilities so that's what's great so on that uh, on the leaf springs you want them real real soft loose you can see how these leaf springs are almost flat so those are FJ um, 60 leaf springs five of them and in the back I have FJ 55 leaf springs And you can see they are almost flat and again you want that for all your flex and articulation and then that rear um, Axle is an 80 series with a manual locking lever. I'll show that in a second So a little to you know toys accessories. I added the shovel right here on the side the axe and the H3R um, clean chemical. You always want to have a clean chemical fire extinguisher in your rig so you don't screw up the engine after putting up the fire. So uh, next things I added the roto packs and the roll packs and they were white and red. I wasn't a fan of that so I changed and painted them with Plasti Dip which did that about a year ago and it stands the test of time. The uh, found a place to put my recovery boards and they act as a nice little protection from the sun. Oh yeah, and I added this seat right here, which I'll get up here. This is from a Land Rover out of all vehicles and does the job so I can take a third person. And a lot of the questions I had were on all the sticks. They're like, that's real busy in there. Well, here's my gear shifter, right? And then I have my um, high-low is right here. So this is two-wheel drive or four-wheel drive. So I should make that selection there. And this is, um, two, sorry, yeah, high-low. And this is two-wheel drive and four-wheel drive. Just like this plate indicates. The only thing this plate doesn't talk about is this one. And that is my manual lever for the rear diff locker. So instead of uh, the FJ80 had electronic, well, we got rid of the electronic and that is a manual uh, locker you just got to put it in in uh, gear these are prp heated seats with five point harness those work great those are the trepador 40 um 13 and a half 17s these things you can go down to five psi and they're still rigid you only really notice that uh you know there's no air in them when you hit a rock and it just grabs then I changed the exhaust. I had like a two and a half inch exhaust. I changed it to a three for a little bit more horsepower. So I changed the piping there. And when I did that, I added that cutout, which you can see right here. So that cutout allows me to have this thing super quiet with the master flow or open it up so it's almost like a straight pipe when I want to have it roar. And that's a lot of fun. But that's what she's looking at these days are looking like these days the paint's great previous owner I got to give kudos to the previous owner for pretty much the setup of this vehicle but the clear coat there's like three coats on it so I've gone heavy-duty off-roading on some of the toughest trails on the west coast and of course you get all the pinstriping but this has got three coats of clear coat so you just buff all that stuff out and it's looking great again let's take a look under the hood shall we one second okay got the hood up so the PSC for power steering you need that additional help when you're turning those 40 inch tires has a 80 series master cylinder for the brakes stainless steel lines throughout good battery in there and that's a Chevy uh, 5.7 Vortec at about 300, 350 horsepower off-road tuned. So not tuned for, you know, 
a vet or something, but this is tuned for off-road use. And let's give it a crank over and give her a listen. And I do have it opened up. So in the back with that um, cutout valve, the reason why there's two exhaust is I can have one if I want to be quiet on the trail or I can open it up and it comes out the other exhaust if I want it to be a little bit loud. But that good old Chevy Vortec, that'll, that'll uh, last hundreds of thousands of miles, so that power plant in this truck is good to go for a long time. And then other little touches I did for fun. H3R has a water bottle, looks like a fire extinguisher with a quick pull here. Have my beverage of choice when on the trail, coffee in the morning or who knows by the afternoon. And it has the uh, the 9000 uh, XD winch factor 55 on the front. And uh, some people ask me about the fenders with FJ40s. They're like, those are pretty cool fenders. So that's uh, 4x4 Metal Tech. So Metal Tech 4x4, and same thing with the sliders. A must. Just a huge amount of clearance. Easter egg on that uh, armor underneath. Alright, but if you got any questions, just uh, post it in the comments below. I do read and respond to all comments. If you have questions, if you're doing a build on your FJ40, I'd be happy to share that with you. Oh, and here's something a little fun. guys cruising through here. Smoking the place up. All right. Well, thanks for watching. Subscribe if you want to see some more Land Cruiser videos. I have the 40, 62, 280s. A 100, a uh, bunch of videos. I do comparison videos too. So check it out. The world of Land Cruisers. All right, peace out.